Many years ago, Banjo, the creator of all the lands, had his own private waterhole. No one dared to go near Banjo's waterhole, as Banjo was not only the creator, but also a fierce eagle warrior. <coughs> one day, a beautiful white swan landed in Banjo's waterhole. She had been flying for a long time and was thirsty. Banjo saw the white swan from the sky and became furious. Banjo was so angry that he swooped down and attacked the white swan, tearing and shredding the white swan's feathers, leaving her to die in a bloody mess. Watching from a tree nearby, Wa, the black crow, saw the injured swan and felt sorry for her. Wa started singing and dancing around the injured swan, placing his feathers on the swan like band-aids. As he sang, the feathers multiplied, healing the swan and covering her from head to tail. She became the first black swan. Hi, I'm Professor D. Today you're going to see the black swan Cygnus abratus. It, it has a red beak where the blood was spilt. When she ruffles her feathers, there's a few white ones left from the attack proving the origins of this story. Professor D, at your service. Bye. Wow, 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 wow.